I forgot to put on my rings. I feel so naked now. Hello friends and welcome back. Today it's time for another magical unboxing. I've got the Mist and Magic Herbology and Potions box for you. So I've only picked up this box yesterday because it was held at customs for two weeks two weeks that's insane i don't know what their problem is but i heard that people in the netherlands so that's me and belgium have problems with customs when it comes to packages from the uk so i had to pay an additional 20 dollars <laughs> for my box. So that diminished the magic, but I heard it is an amazing box. So I'm still really excited to see what is inside. And if you like these kind of videos, then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Let's get unboxing. In case you don't know Miss and Magic, I will leave their website in my description. This is my second box from them. And the first box was amazing. I have used every single item from that box and especially their art prints are, and I thought it would be appropriate to drink my coffee from the mug that I got from Miss and Magic. So this is the box. It isn't much to look at because, first of all, because of all the forms and all the stickers. But second of all, it's just a basic box. So I'm not a fan of that. I would have preferred it to be a box with at least their logo on it. The other thing I'm noticing is that it is really light and a really flat box. And I'm gonna be honest, that worries me a little bit. Today, we would like to offer you a chance to dive into the wonderful world of potions, elixirs, and magical plants, especially designed for all our potioneers out there. This box contains a potion, of course, as well as magical artifacts, paper replicas, and accessories to add to your magical collection. I cannot imagine that all those items fit in this tiny flat box. That would be magic on its own, but we'll see. Before we open this box, a big thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And if you feel like it is something for you, then definitely come join us. Just go over to patreon.com and type in my name, Leanna Brooks, or click on the link in my description. Uh, I hope I have enough time for this unboxing because I have class in one hour or so. Mm. Let's do this. <laughs> I did it. This is what I'm talking about. So the outside of the box is muggle proof and then the inside looks magical. We have some green tissue paper and then a sticker that says unlock the magic. This is on top and this might be the spoiler card. It says herbology and potions, which is the theme of this box. I love the artwork on this. This looks amazing, but I'm pretty sure this is the spoiler card. So we're gonna put that aside for now. And beneath that, we can see loads of goodies. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> It looks so magical. Oh my gosh. Okay, calm down. Calm down, honey. We're just gonna go through the items one by one. You're okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like there is something soft in here and I'm not sure what it is. It's not big enough to be a t-shirt. So what is it? Oh, is this like a towel for in your kitchen? What? What? <laughs> What is on here? Oh, and they have listed a lot of magical plants. That is awesome. For example, Death's Snapdragons, powerful protective plant. They enhance the power of any shielding ward. Very handy to keep around if you think you're being hexed. Step on a Snapdragon. And another one at the bottom says Thorn Apple. The thorns on the seed pockets are particularly potent for inducing divination dreams. Reduce them to thin powder and use sparingly as too much of this plant can become highly toxic. And I feel like because it's not so flashy that even my boyfriend will accept that this is gonna be in the kitchen forever. Practical item and a great start to this box. Next up is this little leaflet that says dragon eggs. We can see six beautiful eggs. I think the northern sea serpent might be my favorite because it kind of resembles the galaxy. And I think I recognize this from their TikTok because Mr. Magic has TikTok. And one of their first videos was about creating this, I believe. Oh, right. And on the inside is a little bit of information about Mr. Magic. So this isn't actually an item, but I am going to use this because this looks beautiful. It says, thank you so much for your awesome support. We hope you love your purchase and that it will bring some magic into your life. As a thank you. Here's a code for 10% off your next order. Ooh. We are a team of two sisters passionately working on creating the best magical products and boxes we possibly can. Our company started with our wish to make everyday life magical. We believe in working locally and most of our manufactured products are made in the UK. We are a vegan, cruelty-free and environmentally friendly company. 
so that is really sweet and informative because I didn't know they were a team of two sisters who just wants to make everyday life magical. That's what I want to do. <laughs> we're on the same page. Next, I have a box. Could this be a potion? The Royal Herbarium since 1837. It's a restorative potion. All kinds of lesions and gases, internal and external injuries, prevents a wound infection, accelerates regrowth of organic tissue. I have never seen this much attention to detail on a box. This is amazing. It lists the effect, warning, the ingredients. It has a little bit of information about the Royal Herbarium. It even has the potion number and the date that it was bottled. So what are the ingredients mandrake roots deadly nightshade missile weed ancient rue thorn apple that was one of the ingredients on the towel common your vein and oak and sage i am so excited to see how this looks we have got a little potion. The bottle is nothing special. It's just a little bottle. There's some string, a little wax seal that has the letters DW. Not entirely sure what that stands for. I love the label. It looks really authentic, even though it is printed. They've done a really good job on that, but mine is crooked, so I am gonna fix that. And then the inside, guys, this is freaking amazing <laughs> and i think when i pulled this out of the box it was light green and when you shake it it has this beautiful red bronze color next up is a little box and the box says glowing stone moss harvested in the wild scottish highlands during a blue moon whenever i hear scottish highlands i think outlander <laughs> precautions for use recharge the stones under the moonlight for utmost potency <sighs> again the detail on this little box is amazing i think this is what distinguishes Mr. Magic from other Harry Potter boxes. They are not solely based on Harry Potter, it's just inspired by and they just want to bring magic to your daily life. Let's open this little box. So it actually holds some moss and four little white stones. Does this glow in the dark? Because that would make it a great item instead of a good item. Don't think it does. I guess we'll find out at the end when I check the spoiler card. Let's go for a paper item. So this is something with gold foiling and it says certificate of membership potion masters guild. I hereby pledge to dedicate myself to the pursuit of the arcane art of potion making. Oh, and it even has something on the back. It says a membership card. You can fill in your name, unique identification number 76843. I am curious if other people got another identification number because that would make it really unique. I am a fan of their paper items because they do such a good job on them. The quality of the paper, the amount of detail, the foiling, the font they use. I am definitely gonna put this on my potion shelf. Next up is a little paper bag with, again, a crooked label. Mist and Magic collectible cards. Hmm, that's interesting. <gasps> Oh, I love these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet, but I love it. First up, we have Crystallized Dragon Blood. That is actually something we got in one of their boxes, so that's a cute touch. Crystallized Dragon Blood is one of the rare substances capable of storing magic. It acts like a reservoir of power you can dig into whenever you need and has many uses. From wands to potion making, this ingredient has now been banned due to the dangers of hunting dragons. So I'm not gonna read every card to you guys, but I am gonna give you a close-up so you can read it for yourself. This next one is Wolfsbane, Echinidum, Leacoctonum. And the last one is Basilisk Venom, which has some beautiful green foiling. I remember when I was a kid, I had these Pokemon cards, I think, and we could store them in this book and you could look at them all day. I feel like we should get a book for these cards as well. Next up, there's a leaflet in the box and it says Arcane Ministry, Ministry of Magic, Department for the Regulation and Control of Dangerous Magical substances and when you open it up oh wow again guys the amount of detail all oh, right so we work at this department and this is kind of our entrance card or something use of magical plants and dangerous substances permits at the bottom there's a part where you can put your fingerprints of your right hand and your left hand we've been busy we we've got a lot of stamps <laughs> and it is validated by joseph l winston who is apparently the head of licensing bureau i think i have found the pin i'm really excited about this item because i love their previous pins. The card says Phoenix Tears and we can see a Phoenix and inside 
Oh, I love this. You can see a bottle and that kind of merges into the body of the Phoenix, which is red and orange. I'm not an expert on pins, but I feel like this was pretty hard to make because it has a lot of corners and little details. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is his beak. It's really pointy and thin, but overall, this is a really beautiful pin. I believe we have got another little vial. The label is not crooked this time. It says Sam Hang seeds, ingredient number 574, and it has eight little seeds inside. And after this video, this is going straight to my potion ingredient shelf. And the final item in this box is, I believe, another art print. I was really impressed with our previous art prints. I have framed both of them because they are just so damn gorgeous. I have high hopes for this one. It is wrapped in blue tissue paper. I feel like there are two prints inside. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, so let's put that aside. Are you kidding me? This looks like it could be inspired by pretty much any fandom that has to do with fantasy. This could even be a Lord of the Rings print because it just looks like there's elven letters beneath it. This is amazing. It is moon water elixir. I want my entire house filled with these kind of prints. This is so gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh. Something else fell out and I have no idea what this is, but it feels kind of like canvas, something you paint on. What? <laughs> oh my god, my voice. I feel like I'm holding a painting from Dumbledore's office or something. Or one of the paintings next to the moving staircases. I have to take a breather here. This is, this is insane. This is, ah. Oh. We have a potioner slash wizard who is pointing at his book of potions and then there's a yellow potion next to it and I believe it says Dooliard in the right corner 1753. In the background we can see a lot of old books, potions, a scale. This is absolutely beautiful. I have no words for it. I have class in 15 minutes, so we're gonna wrap it up. That was everything in this magical box. Let's take a look at the spoiler cards. Let me just say that they make beautiful spoiler cards. I can really appreciate that. Herbology and potions magical box. So let's see if we missed anything. Yeah, exactly. The healing potion is a color changing potion. The stone moss will glow in the dark. <laughs> You just need to keep the box open under the sunlight to recharge and enjoy their magic. That is awesome. The portrait is of the famous potion master Alpheus Alistair Septimus Altham. He invented many of the most difficult potions and founded Stormcrow, the famous apothecary shop. A little bit of a history lesson for you guys. <laughs> and the tea towel is 100% cotton and can be put in the washing machine. That's always a plus. We got a total of 10 items in this box and apart from me having to pay custom fees, which is not their fault at all. I think this box is totally worth it. The amount of detail, the quality, the artwork. There's no way I'm gonna pick a least favorite item because there isn't a least favorite. I am impressed with all the items. They are so unique and a great addition to my magical collection. Let's not go for a favorite item, but the item that impressed me the most. And that was definitely this one. I mean, this this is something I have never gotten inside a box before. This is an actual painting. It just looks like it came straight out of the Wizarding World. But honestly, all of these items were amazing. And that was it, guys. Everything in the Mist and Magic Herbology and Potions box. This was definitely a magical experience. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And let's stay in touch.